Hey, what's going on, guys? Back with another episode of the Clash Royale series, and uh, I'm really sorry I could not up, uh, update my uh, uh, YouTube account recently. But uh, actually, I was really busy in college, so uh, I could not make uh, a lot of videos. I could not record gameplays. So probably after my uh, uh, college exams end, probably after two or three weeks, I will be regular. And then uh, after my finals, then I'll try to post a video every day. So back here at my main account, I just wanted to show you guys uh, the recent update we just placed. And uh, the thing is that uh, the so-called legendary arena is now called Hog Mountain at 3,000 uh, trophies. And the legendary arena has reached 3,800 plus trophies, which is called Arena 11. And after which, uh, after 4,000 trophies, you get into leagues. And uh, the first league is the Challenger 1, then uh, Challenger 2, Challenger 3 at 4,600. Then you reach Master 1, Master 2, Master 3, and then Champion, Grand Champion, and then Ultimate Champion. The same concept as of, uh, in Clash of Clans. Um, most of you must be playing Clash of Clans. So it's the same concept, but just uh, with uh, trophies. Uh, the highest trophy is 6,400 trophies. And what I have seen the highest is uh, I saw a person reaching uh, over 56,000 trophies. I never saw a person reaching over 64,000 trophies. But uh, this is a recent update. And another thing is that in the league, you get uh, a season reward. As you can see the chest at the top, the dual chest, you can say like, it's like two chests which got submerged. So at Challenger 1 you get 101 cards, at Challenger 2 you get 151 cards. So as you increase, uh, the number of cards increase. And at the Champion you get 501 cards from that. And the thing is that you get two cards to choose from. Uh, if you read uh, the... Uh, the, the info it is not written over here but it's basically that you get a choice between two cards to choose them it's a really good concept and uh, I really like it uh, another thing are that uh, is that four new cards are going to be released the you can say one is the bandit uh, one is the dark mm, the night witch one is the bats and the heal spell so the heal spell came from Clash of Clans, probably you guys must have played Clash of Clans. So the heal spell concept came from there. And uh, the last thing which came in the update is that they changed the picture of the executioner. The executioner now, now looks a bit funky, you know, like he looks a bit chubby and all that. So what I personally think that the previous picture was better. So now I'll meet you guys at uh, my uh, level 3 account. Okay guys, so I'm not, uh, now I'm at my level 4 account. Uh, and as you can see, I have a lot of chests to open. And the uh, recent thing which I just unlocked was, uh, I guess the rocket. I unlocked the rocket from the free chest. And now I also have the skeleton army available, but uh, I already have it. I don't think so. I'll buy it. Let me open up the chests. Let's see if we can unlock anything new. I don't think so. We will unlock anything new, but let's see. Okay. So sitting at 940 trophies. The next. Uh, the next arena will be at 1100 trophies so we can't reach that arena in this episode but uh, we just need one crown for the crown chest okay I'm really sorry I cannot post any other uh, gaming content like the PS4 games or all that but uh, this is actually this is because uh, of my uh, this, is, this is actually because of my exams. I recently uh, just had my exams, my college exams, so I could not post uh, a lot of videos. 
I could not I did not even have time to record so sorry for the inconvenience and uh, this is a pretty bad start for me he took down my tower actually I was concentrating on speaking more than on the game so Okay, I'll get ready for the balloon push. Okay, I'll, I'll not use the giant now because it'll be too expensive. I'll use the balloon and the wedge. Okay, this, plus, this guy's playing really good. He has level 2 prints and he has done a lot of damage. Okay, I'll have to defend because that bomber can do a lot of damage. Okay, 20 seconds to reach uh, double elixir. Fortunately, I could pull that uh, baby dragon towards my side. Okay. Now this guy will try to he'll fully concentrate on attacking and I will try to attack I'll try to pressurize him on that side I'll try to make him defend and uh, I'll try to make him spend this elixir on defending rather than attacking because I cannot afford to lose this match okay there we go he won but uh, it's just the start and uh, I'll be playing another match, probably with more concentration. Okay, let me upgrade the balloon and the giant. And maybe also the tombstone. The tombstone is a really good card in here. Because it uh, spawns, it's really good against Prince. In the previous match I did not get, oh, my crown chest was available but I did not. In the previous match, I could not. I was not actually uh, could not place the tombstone for the prince because uh, uh, he had the mini P.E.K.K.A. and all that. So I used my I used my tombstone for his mini P.E.K.K.A. But uh, this time probably I will play more sensibly and pick up a good win. So he did a lot of damage and he took down my tower really easily but actually you guys might be thinking why does he play so bad actually you know uh, this guy is on level 10 and he's still playing so he's still playing way back but actually the, the real thing is that actually uh, when I'm recording I focus more onto, the, onto my speaking rather than on to the game sometimes so I can't I do not focus on the game a lot I focus more on uh, the conversation so that's why uh, I lose but uh, so here is giant coming archers Another th another thing which came in the update, which I think uh, came in the update, is that they increase the speed of uh, the arrows. The arrows come really fast now. The speed is increased. They're like they're really fast. Okay, that was a really bad placement. A really bad placement of that uh, tombstone. But okay, I did reach level 11. Let's open the crown chest. And uh, let me use this deck. Let me the bomb tower, and I'll see if I can play really good with this deck. Okay, so the prince, the musketeer. I'll wait for the musketeer to reach 
I don't think so. Throwing the fireball is a good play because uh, I already have my musket here up there. But I'll start with an expensive push here. This is wonderful. This is really good. Okay, he did have his barbarians. Come on, prince. Come on. Okay, he did a lot of damage. Okay. So I did do pretty much a lot of damage onto his tower. I used my goblins against his mini Pekka and uh, I will take him down. One thing which I feel is really weird is that uh, the musket here which is armored has a lot less health than the wall tree which has no armor on the wall tree basically has just worn some clothes but uh, it actually does uh, feel sound weird to me because uh, the musketeer is really she is an armored girl but she has no she has lot uh, less health than the than the wall tree but the wall tree the musketeer should have actually more health than the wall tree in my opinion anyways This match turned out to be really good. He, he did not even touch my tower this, in this match. He wasn't able to touch my tower. The bomb tower will handle those skeletons. And even the barbarians. Oops, oops, oops. 22 seconds, 600 hit points. Okay, now I'll, fog I'll, I'll ignore the giant because I want that 3 crown. I want the 3 crown. And it's really hard. Okay. Okay, so I can't get the 3 crown. Okay, I did get the 3 crown. So I was really lucky. I just uh, had 1 second short of time. And I got the three crown, and uh, I won the, the for a match after losing two matches. So, guys, probably this will be the episode. Uh, I'm really sorry for losing those two matches. Actually, I was focusing more on the on talking to you guys rather than the game. So. I hopefully uh, will see you, will meet you in the next episode of my Clash Royale series and I do want ideas from you guys, uh, uh, what you guys want to see, actually I don't get a lot of comments so I, I, I actually uh, become confused on what to make videos because I don't think so making Clash Royale videos again and again would be the best option. There are thousands of more games, better games uh, on which I can make videos. So I want you guys to leave your opinion down in the comments and uh, if you did enjoy uh, do not uh, forget to subscribe and like the videos. So take care guys. See you in the next video. Bye.